basic dictionary skills. The objective. Students will be able to use a dictionary to locate words, their meanings, parts of speech, the origins, and pronunciations. The Common Core Standards. The Information Literacy Standards. What is a dictionary? Dictionaries are books that list all the words in a language. The words in a dictionary are organized in alphabetical order. You must know how to alphabetize words in order to use a dictionary easier. Guide words are found at the top of each page. They tell you the first and last word that is found on that page. Here's an example of guide words on a dictionary page. Let's see what that means. Let's pretend we are looking up the word fence. First we would turn to the F section. Then we will use the guide words and what we know about alphabetizing words to decide the correct page in the F section. We will look at the guide words at the top of each page and decide between which ones our word will come in alphabetical order. Let's do that for the word fence. Which one of these pages will contain the word fence? Is it the page that contains the guide words fan and feed? Or the page with the guide words feel and fender? If you guess the second one, then you guess correct. Now let's break down a different... Now let's break down a dictionary definition. Have you ever looked up the definition for a word in the dictionary? If so, then you might have been confused by some of the parts of that definition. Let's look at the word apple. As you see, the first part of a definition is the entry word. The entry word is the main word in a dictionary definition. And you see apple is broken up into two because the word has two syllables. The next thing that you see is the pronunciation key. The pronunciation key really helps us to pronounce the words correctly. The next part of a dictionary entry is the part of speech. Each and every word has a specific part of speech. In this case, apple is a noun. The next set of words that we see are actually the definitions of the dictionary entry. The definitions are simply the meanings to the word. The last thing that you will see in a dictionary entry is where the word comes from. This is called the word origin. When you're reading or researching a topic, you may encounter unfamiliar words. The dictionary is a good place to find the meanings or definitions of these words. When you look up a word in the dictionary, you can learn the pronunciation and meaning of the word. You can find out whether it's a noun or verb or some other part of speech. You can also learn the word's origin or the language that the word originally comes from. While you're watching this story about the mummies of ancient Egypt, listen for unfamiliar words. A mummy is a body of a person or animal that has been preserved for many years. The word mummies often refers to the ancient burials in Egypt. 
Egyptians wrapped the mummies in linen and painted them with natural resins or a tar-like substance. Researching a mummy reveals clues to that person's life and culture. Clothing and tattoos show how the people looked and what kinds of materials were used for clothing. Stomach contents show what they ate. These clues reveal the status or class of the person or show what the person did for a living. Although many people and even some animals were mummified, those that were most carefully protected were pharaohs or kings in ancient Egypt. Only one pharaoh's tomb has been discovered intact, that of Tutankhamun, known today as King Tut. Scientists know from studying Tut's mummy that he was probably around 18 years old when he died. The mummy of Tutankhamun was kept in a solid gold sarcophagus. His tomb was also filled with paintings, furniture, weapons, games, and other artifacts that give us a glimpse into the life of an ancient pharaoh. Now that we have learned about mummies in ancient Egypt, let's take a closer look at the unfamiliar words that were heard and look them up in the dictionary. The report said that the mummy of Tutankhamun was found in a golden S A R C O P H A G U S. First, let's find out how to pronounce that word. It's pronounced sarcophagus. Now, let's find out what sarcophagus means. A sarcophagus is a stone coffin decorated with a sculpture or inscriptions. That means that the mummy of Tutankhamun was found in a coffin. Because he was king, his was made of gold. Let's find out what else we can learn about this word. Next to the word sarcophagus is a lowercase n. In some dictionaries, the part of speech is labeled with one letter. The n indicates that the word sarcophagus is a noun. There are two correct plural forms of sarcophagus, sarcophagi and sarcophaguses. So if there are two of them, it would be correct to say either two sarcophagi or two sarcophaguses. Below the definition, you'll find the origin. The origin of sarcophagus is Greek. The abbreviation sin stands for synonym. So another word for sarcophagus is coffin. When you look up a word in the dictionary, you can learn the pronunciation and meaning of a word the word's part of speech, and its origin. Look up this word in the dictionary. H-I-E-R-O-G-L-Y-P-H-I-C-S. Find out how to pronounce the word and what the word means. Also, find out what part of speech it is and what language it originates from.